Hello, and welcome to another episode of Writing Fighting. Look, we've killed a lot of squash making these videos, and there have been complaints. So today, instead, we're going to kill a tin can. That's a rondel dagger. So this is one of my very favorite weapons. Uh, it was made by a Finnish artist named J.T. Palico, and it's copying a mid-15th century dagger. And I use it a lot in novels. Uh, it's Geoffrey de Charny's dagger in the William Gold series, sometimes known as the Chivalry series. And the reason I've given you this little demonstration is that up till now I've talked about rondel daggers, but mostly I've shown you basil arts. So what's useful to see about this? Triangular blade, solid steel. The only purpose of this weapon is to kill a person. It's not good for cutting bread. It won't help you eat your meal. All it will do is penetrate right through chain mail like it wasn't even there. And here's the part maybe you don't know. Here's a nice 14th century gauntlet. Nice reproduction of an original. See the top rondel? See the bottom rondel? With my fist closed around my dagger like this, it's one continuous piece of steel and no blow anywhere on my hand is going to penetrate it. And that is the secret of the rondel dagger. And from a fashion perspective, by wearing this rondel dagger, I indicate that I don't need to wear a practical knife. I can wear a man killer meant to kill per a person in armor. And that's a statement. So when you see a picture of somebody wearing a rondel dagger, it's a very particular kind of person. And he is at least claiming he owns a pair of gauntlets. See you tomorrow.